Linda Hopwood, pastor of Ives Chapel United Methodist Church. As I mentioned on Sunday, I love to garden, but I don't exactly have a green thumb. One of our daughters gave me flowers for Mother's Day. And yep, it's June. And these flowers are flowers I haven't managed to kill yet. <laughs> we are nearing the end of our messages, focusing on ways we can live our lives as people filled with the Holy Spirit. Part of what we can do is open our hearts and minds to the presence of the Spirit and then be prepared to move when the Spirit invites us to move. The greatest story ever told is the story of the kingdom of God, a kingdom that has a place for each one of us. We are part of God's loving and life-giving kingdom. Part of the way we can be effective in sharing the good news of God's kingdom is through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Through the promptings of the Spirit, we can become more aware of the community around us, the community that is helping to nurture our spiritual growth. The Spirit can help us to pay closer attention to our neighbors, the ones we know and the ones we don't know yet. The Spirit also can help us be aware of the words we hear and the words we speak. The words we hear and speak can help us and others to grow in our faith. Or words can be tools of destruction. In addition, we need to allow the Holy Spirit to guide our actions in public and in private. Our actions can show the people around us that we are indeed children of God. We can grow wherever the Spirit plants us. And as we grow, we can be part of God's great story. When we do this, we are indeed growing into the new creations God intends for us to be. May all of us live in the light of the story of the kingdom of God. Amen. <laughs>